landing pages. Creating them is easier than you think. After all, all you need is a drag and drop creator and even a little coding skills. But creating a landing page that will be effective and turn visitors into leads can be a challenge. In this episode, you will learn, among other things, what to pay special attention to during the creation process, what are the aims at the individual landing page elements, how to test and optimize your landing page. One of the components of a campaign success is creating an appropriate landing page. Attractive appearance, content and transparency of the landing page evoke specific emotions and encourage your target group to perform specific actions. So how to design a landing page step by step that will convince your audience to do the desired conversion. First step, specify the goal. Start at designing a landing page from precisely specifying the goal you want to achieve. Taking into account different definitions of the conversion, landing page can be divided into two main types, squeeze pages and sales pages. Squeeze pages are the most common type of landing page. Their main purpose is to gain specific data about the users. Most often it will be your name, email address, telephone number and consent to marketing communication. A squeeze page is for example a website that offers quality free content to people who will fill out the form. Sales pages are landing pages that companies use to encourage users to buy products or services. It may be for example a lottery with a price if your customers want to take part in it, they must make a purchase because the application form requires providing data from the recipient. One of the specialists at Unbounce, a landing page platform, Oli Gardner, said if visitors to your landing page can find out what you offer in the first five seconds, you've probably already lost them. There's simple too much to do on the internet these days. If you do not define the target yourself, your recipients will be not guessed it and by the time this magical five seconds have completely elapsed, you will lose their interest. Step two, content selection. The next step is to prepare the page content. This is the moment of defining the target groups and trying to get into shoes of its representatives. Try to answer the following question. What is important to your target group? What are their needs, dreams and aspirations? What problems they are facing? How does the product or service you offer meet their needs? What dream is fulfilling? Which problem is solved? Answers will help you in creating headlines and descriptions as well as in choosing the appropriate graphic elements. Remember that the header or a well-designed landing page perform four functions. It attracts attention, defines the target group and thus arouses the interest of those users to whom your website is directed and discourage accidental visitors. It encourages to read on, it express what product, services, event the company offers. The very content of the headlines and descriptions should relate to the emotions and problems of the target group, as well as indicate how your offer will help them solve the difficulties they are facing. The other element of the landing page, such as the designed and call to action are equally important. It may seem obvious to you, but call to action should be a button, not text. Users are used to CTA buttons and expect this item intuitively. The 
CTA button should be the large and very visible. Choose a color that contrasts with the background or other elements of the landing page. Step 3. Choosing the images and graphics. An effective landing page should also contain well-matched graphic elements. Properly selected images are designed to evoke specific emotions, increase level of trust to your offer, or enable a better presentation of the product. Avoid using stock images that are popular enough to appear on most websites. No! It may also be a good idea to enrich your landing page with reviews, along with photos of faces of satisfied customers, the so-called social proof. It is a simple procedure that will help you make the offer more credible in the eyes of the target group. Presenting product reviews, customer testimonials, case studies and customers will help you dispel the, any potential hesitation your visitors may have before signing up. When the first version of your landing page is ready, it is worth asking yourself a few control questions. Is the page about one specific item? Does it have a clearly defined purpose presented by a visible CTA button or buttons in the case of longer pages that require scrolling? Are the headlines and content written in the language of my target on audience? If the answer to any of above questions is not a clear answer, go back to the editing process and make it necessary corrections. Step 4. Perform A-B tests. A-B tests compare the effectiveness of two versions of the landing page, where in the version B only one element has changed. This can be, uh, for example, the content of the main header of the page or the color of CTA button. To be able to verify which one is better, we should select a specific metric to monitor before starting the test. Most often it will be the number of conversions. However, in the cases of longer landing pages or micro pages sites, it may be for for example, the number of clicks on the chosen element or percentage of the page that has been scanned. Which elements are worth testing? Depending on the type of the landing page, they can be call to action button, color, size, font, type and size of the content, position on the page, headers, text, font, type, size or mm, using emoji in uh, headers, description, content and images or graphics. Step 5. Optimization. The last step is actually a never-ending story. After all, there will be always uh, something to improve like the page loading time. At Portent, study of over 100 million page views across 20 B2B and B2C sites for conversion data shows that pages with a load time of 1 to 2 seconds achieve the highest conversion rates, including an average conversion rate of 3.05% after 1 second, up to 0.6%. 7% after 4 seconds of charging. Conversion rate drops 0.3% on every second for each additional second it takes to your site to load. Optimizing your website requires the optimal presentation of the information. To understand your customer needs, carefully monitor effectiveness of your landing pages and invest time and effort in improving your results and experimenting with a new approaches. Compare your quantitative analysis with qualitative data. Quantitative analytics combines data such as visits, bounce rate, conversion, average time spent with uh, dimensions such as city, language, visitor types. By integrating qualitative information obtained through heat maps, session recordings and form analytics, you can get the core of how 
visitors navigate your site. You can track mouse movements, click, pauses, fluctuations and interactions time, which are more practical indicators to optimize the conversion rate of your landing page. Equipped with such data, you can easily optimize your landing page according to the needs and expectations of the recipients. And you can be sure that they will thank you with the conversion. Five steps to an effective landing page are behind us. Are you guided by them when creating your landing pages? Or maybe you have your own steps, a framework that helps create you a converting landing page. Be sure to share it in the comments below.